if we had the streaming rights to the Imperial March, I would have replaced that with the opening credits uh, because of... Paul, how how you doing today, buddy? How you doing? Why are you so loud? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so bright? I can't stand it. I'm okay. Why? You know, I just I, I I've heard some things and saw what Seen you were doing last. Things. Yeah, what you were doing last night, and uh, yeah. I learned last night that if I drink too much, uh, aside from my ability to pass out anywhere, I I I have a nice autopilot thing going on where I don't remember cleaning up or putting things away or <laughs> brushing my teeth or charging my phone or whatever. But all that stuff happened. Yeah. 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 Um, before Paul uh, left, if you will, I told he, Paul is at the Sir Richard Campbell estate, which is mm -hmm. uh, a That's great, right. great place in Canada. I informed Paul, I said, Paul, please steal some scotch and bring it down to Seattle. What I did not say, Paul, was to drink all the scotch and save none for me. <laughs> Bye. Five hundred dollars. That's an expensive bottle of scotch you guys were. What was it? Do you even know? Do you even remember yeah, at this point? Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it was a Balvini direct from Scotland. You can only buy it right there in Scotland, and even then, you have to do some coercion to get it. But he does regular trips out there mm -hmm. to buy expensive scotch, both for himself and for other people. So this was part of a an expedition, yes. <laughs> if you will, to Scotland. Um, yeah. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, so for those who aren't familiar, Richard Campbell has been around the industry probably about as long as you have. I mean, he's been around for quite a oh, while. Yeah. Yep, and uh, he does .NET Rocks. He's written a bunch of books. Um, but most, most importantly, he has a fine love of scotch. And whenever you hang out with Mr. Richard Campbell, you always get to drink nice scotch. That's right. And, he introduced um, me to scotch, and my life has never been the same. For better or for worse, though. Yeah, a little bit of both. <laughs> So, um, Paul, while you were, you know, just on holiday yesterday. Um, oh, yes. Uh, excuse me. On holiday? Mm -hmm. but by holiday, Brad is referring to the 18 hours of travel that it took to get me from my bed in, in Emmaus to this place in the wilds of British Columbia. Um, I got up at 2.30 in the morning. Yikes. Yeah. It was a long day. So you can kind of understand why drinking needed to occur. And you flew from wherever in the u.s you went to toronto first and then yep to uh vancouver yeah why don't, why don't you show the fine people what's on the other side of your yeah it's a pretty view up here i will yeah. say that um we've seen seals crabs birds i cannot identify hmm. there are apparently uh, sea otters that come down to the, the boathouse that's underneath here um, which is outside of where i'm sleeping but disappointingly i didn't hear anything last night so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to catch those guys in the in the act. Please, please don't bring them to Seattle. Actually, I would love for you to come through customs and be like, yes, I have an otter in my pocket. It's fine. Oh, no, no. Sea, sea otters are humongous, and oh, they're they? also like, really dangerous, yeah. Are they like geese? Uh, yeah, they actually make honking sounds, and um, and they will attack you, yeah. Hmm. Actually, hmm. they do terrible things. Like, he has a little dog, and uh, they're really nervous about the dog here because they're known to – drag dogs into the water and then drown oh. them yeah they're like uh they're nasty animals oh. pretty yeah hmm. Hmm. anyways while you were gallivanting just you know having good old grand times with scotch uh, this happened so this is the yep. down goes Frasia infamous fight <laughs> and we have dns here um something DNS looks uh it looks dazed and confused in that picture yeah i mean that's kind of kind of what happened it was um Microsoft pushed some sort of an update, and as this tried and true methods go, if you don't touch a DNS, it will touch you eventually, uh, because it went down and it took all of their services basically intermittent. I don't think they ever fully went offline, uh, because yeah. it, depending on where you were, like if you were already logged in, it seemed like it was fine, but if you're trying to authenticate and do all that stuff, and certain people had issues connecting, and that's Paul's giant hand. Uh, yep, sorry, I'm just lowering the volume. Oh, yeah. I have a really bad headache today. A little bad, a little bad headache. Just uh, anyway, so that went down for about an hour, and um, I think mm -hmm. we might have. I, Petri hits. Does anyone work. else uh, see the irony? Oh, in I know. A Microsoft update taking down Microsoft. It was perfect. So the the update, well, it's even more perfect than that. So the update or whatever, you know, stuff happens. But the perfect part was it started about four thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. The uh, build embargo news, the first tranche, if you will, 
went live at 5 p.m right That's in the right. middle of this outage so it's like <laughs> you can't access any of our services oh here's all the cool stuff we're at but we have new yeah, we're new services <laughs> if only you could see them yeah <laughs> so um so all that stuff went out some iot plug and play if you've ever said hey i need a sql database at the edge that's coming for all you people uh, there's some other good stuff. Developer edition of the HoloLens 2, but surprisingly it costs the same price as the actual HoloLens 2. So there's you get some freebies yeah. in there, I think, with some Azure credits and some development yep. stuff. Uh, but same price, 3,500 bones. And uh, yep. there's a Which, lot. By the way, I, I, I didn't have a chance to look this up, but wasn't the original HoloLens $5,000? Yes. Uh, the development edition, yeah. No, the de development so, edition, I believe, was 3,500 for the first oh, gen. Was, okay. So it was oh. actually cheaper. But the actual device was five. Yeah. Is that how that worked? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So there was no actual, I don't know, savings. What'd you do? Just got a phone call in the middle of that. Of course. 970. What's, what area code is that? Do you know? It's probably the geese calling. It's, it's Microsoft. <laughs> Stop ripping on DNS. It was a mistake. <laughs> we apologize. We updated. Yeah. We updated. We're fine. We're fine. Anyways. So you are now in the Northwest. DNS is back up, by the way, everybody. And so mm -hmm. you shouldn't be having any issues with that stuff. But there is a lot more announcements coming if you thought that that stuff wasn't the most exciting thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. um, you're not alone. But uh, there are more things coming next week. So, Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, Paul, I have something here. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But I'm gonna, if you know what this is, I'll be quite impressed. But can you can you see what this is? Uh, it looks like a like a level almost or a not too far it is a straight flash bracket okay i don't know what that is yeah I, well i'm going to explain how this is going to impact your life in some way or another um uh, so you know how when we do behind the scenes videos i usually just kind of like duct tape that microphone to the side mm -hmm. well this fancy contraption very fancy highest quality metal um, produced in china um, you can put your camera mount here and your microphone mount here. Oh. So it doesn't bobble up and down and look. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're really, you know, a few more years of this. So we're going to be totally professional. Yeah. Just in time for like new technology to come out and then I have no idea what we're doing. Right. Just, um, it's just in time for video to no longer be interesting to anybody. Yeah. They're going to expect 4K holograms. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the, all the people that do keep asking, they're saying, hey, is there going to be a behind-the-scenes video? Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. Although, we'll have to see how this one plays out because there's a chance, a possibility, that it might get combined with our Miami trip depending on how much time we get to shoot footage because we have yeah. next week yeah, yeah. with Build and then like 10 days later, we're in Miami together, which is going to be... Um... By the way, uh, not that this impacts you or anyone else, but I have stuff like between those two trips too and <laughs> in like... Not only am I staying here extra long and arriving mm -hmm. early and whatnot, but like I, I fly home next Thursday. I'll be gone all day. Same reason, you know, traveling mm -hmm. all day. And then Friday morning, uh, well, fr actually, no. So I'll do the show from home uh, next Friday. And then as soon as it's over, I'm going to drive up to Syracuse or to uh, Rochester, rather, New York. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next morning, my son is getting a, an associate's degree. Is He's not graduating or anything, but I mean, it's like a, you know, halfway yeah. done kind of deal. And then as soon as that's over, we're going to drive back home because my daughter's prom is that night. And it's like, do I get a, is there a weekend where I could just kind of be home or does that ever get to happen? Well, much like you're drinking, a lot of this is self-inflicted. So <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> I guess the message here is don't have kids. I think is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that is, that is always an option. Have a Porsche, not a kid. I mean, that's about how it works mm -hmm. out. You'll be happier and it will, uh, it will hurt you less. Maybe unless you drive it into something and have to repair it. Uh, other random things that are happening. My phone, or your phone actually, I guess it's probably called. Is uh, You can now save photos should be directly. My phone. Yeah, it should be called my phone because you look yeah. at it, you're like, who's your phone? But it's my phone. Um, you can now save photos directly to your PC. Kind of helpful. Kind of. Yeah, it's, it's actually surprisingly convoluted how you had to do this before. And so yep. now you can just right click on it and save it. That's smart. And for everyone who's been barking up the tree that solitaire should be in a museum, it now is. You, you've won. You've won the battle. Sure. Also, uh, if you know, you know, I don't really play solitaire that much. It's it's actually a pretty, it's a good game, but um, you know, in Windows Ten, of course, uh, solitaire has evolved into solitaire as a service, mm -hmm. and uh, you can you know you can pay for it now if you want to on an ongoing basis. So, 
good good of Microsoft to figure that technology out. Yep, yep, yep. And we got Build next week that kicks off Monday. We have Google I.O. on Tuesday. Right. Did you notice, by the way, I don't think it's uh, unreasonable to mention this, you know, uh, Google I.O. is at the same time as Build, and mm-hmm. it was last year as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the day of, of the Google I.O. keynote, I actually left uh, the end of the Microsoft keynote, rushed through all the back doors. I got stopped by security. It was a whole mess. Oh, anyway, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I remember that last uh, year. It, to get to the press room so I could watch the Google I.O. keynote mm-hmm. live, right? So I just made it. And then uh, this year, they actually built the Google I.O. keynote into our schedules. Yep. Did you see that? I did. So they, they literally are not doing anything during the keynote so that we, the press, uh, media, whatever, can go and <laughs> like watch the Google thing. So, um, by the way, little little tidbit. Um, uh, I Build might be changing and or going away. Um, really? Yeah, I've heard from someone, and uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't expect them to say much about that, but it's possible uh, Microsoft might move to an every other year thing between Build and Ignite or something, or combine them into something, or hmm. recast Build as something later. That it's something different. You know, you may remember. Well, you you will remember, but other people may not remember, but. Build used to be something called PDC. Yep. And PDC was run by the dev div at the time, like the developer part of Microsoft, the developer tools and so forth. Um, and build, the point of build was to bring that stuff in-house to the Windows org, right? So Steven Sanofsky at the time wanted to control everything mm-hmm. Windows that had anything to do with Windows and including Windows development. And he actually, you know, that's that's how build, exi- that's why build is build. And um, I always thought that was kind of a weird situation and it looks like maybe maybe there's going to be some you know changes there it's going so, to be great when so. they bring back all their all their conferences well what did they have used to have one called mix for ie or whatever that was called they're going to have pdc right. by coming back it's yep. going to be what's old is new again well they always change this stuff up you know there's mm-hmm. like the uh, partner conference which is something else now yeah oh yeah they call yep. that one microsoft expire <laughs> no, <just kidding>. um <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, so wow. i'm a little I'm not in good shape today. Anyway, um, whatever that is, which is which is in Vegas, you know, and like you know, in, and uh, in is what's uh, Ignite? Sorry, not Inspire. Mm. Uh, the partner show I think is called Inspire, but it, Microsoft Ignite has become such a humongous show. Yeah, um, you know, they've kind of they kind of can't have it anywhere other than like Orlando or maybe mm-hmm. Vegas or something. I mean, you almost kind of wish they would go back to the way things were before, where they had like product specific shows. Yep. Uh, that were smaller, more manageable, <clears throat> you know, so maybe things are going to change. Yeah. I mean, it would make sense to have a, an office 365 <clears throat> focused event, uh, a windows. Yeah. Well, so they used like, to have, yeah. Remember, you know, the exchange had its own show, SharePoint had its own show. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not saying we have to have, a, you know, uh, 13 or 15 Microsoft shows every year, but it seems like having one or two is kind of, uh, it just makes it unwieldy. Yeah. I mean, they definitely could get away with having a moderate sized one every quarter. I think yeah. that would, that would be completely reasonable. So. Yeah, I would. I would prefer it. I think a lot of people would. I prefer it. Imagine it just as as a showgoer. I mean, you're there because you're an exchange admin or something. My God, yep. like you have to navigate through all this other stuff, or and listen to hours of talk on stage about stuff that does not matter to you. You mm-hmm. know. I yeah, know. I personally hope they keep that. Well, now that they moved it to November, I'd love it if they kept. Um, Mm-hmm. ignite down in orlando just because november in orlando is a lot is different ideal, than yeah. middle of the summer or whenever that was before I, months. yeah yeah i there's nothing worse than having to go from an air-conditioned conference center through what appears to be a heated tunnel <laughs> to get to another air-conditioned car. like it's in not august but i guess september it was just awful it was just so gross and don't forget last year somebody broke the escalator a little walking thing <laughs> That's yeah. right. They walked right into the glass. Thing, yeah, you know? the whole thing shattered, and we couldn't they even fell take through it. it. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Yeah. Good times. Yep. So, uh, you got anything else for us for today, Paul? No, I'm going to do ask Paul, and then I, I, I you know, I don't know what I can do beyond that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just such a mess today. How about you? How's your head? Everything good? I'm fine. I, I mean, the, the flight is probably the biggest thing on my schedule, and. Well, I mean, we all know how much I love flying, so that'll be that'll be a fun adventure going out there. But um, yeah, yeah, is it your direct flight though? Yeah, yeah. not home. That makes but... a, that makes a big difference. <laughs> oh, not home. But I'm not I'm not taking the red eye this year, which should probably make things a 
yeah. sig- significantly better. So good. Uh, we got that. Um, everybody else, if you're going to build on Tuesday at the Pine Box from 7 to 9 p.m., we will be there. Paul will probably be drinking more scotch. <laughs> I almost certainly will be drinking some kind of whiskey. Um, yeah, because I never learn. Mm-hmm. 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 As we know again. Well, folks, uh, that wraps it up for today. Podcasting schedule next week might be a little rambunctious or something like that but um we'll definitely be around writing content look for all that stuff up on petrian threat have yourselves a wonderful weekend and we'll catch you right back here next time from seattle